It's nothing. It can't be nothing. Go on, you can tell me. Please. Something is wrong, isn't it? Addie, what is it? It's nothing! Helen. Captain Anthony, Commission Spring 1866, Cavalry 13th Hussars. Served Canada, York, Sheffield, Chatham, Hamilton and India. This is splendid. Eldest son of Sir Reginald Hallam, late of Thornaby Hall, Rutland. We found it. For further information, see 1875, Indian tour, His Royal Highness, Edward, Prince of Wales. Anthony? I thought you weren't speaking to me. Allegra's leaving. Yes, so I saw. Isn't that wonderful? Won't it be so much better without her? I don't know, Louisa. Will it? I shan't be here to find out. What do you mean? Louisa, I'm going to start to live my own life again. I shall be going back to London tomorrow. But Anthony... Something is wrong, isn't it? Ali, what is it? I can't explain. <laughs> it's the hall. There's something there. Have you been seeing a ghost? No, I haven't seen one. But I know it's there. I'm going to get the others. No, Sean, please. I won't be long. Dad won't understand. <sighs> Louisa, you ought to be in bed. I've been horrid to Anthony. I'm sure Captain Anthony understands. Come, you've had enough upsets for one day. It's too sad about your pony. Allegra's leaving. Yes, Allegra is going to London. But how did you know? It's all my fault. Didn't mean for it to happen. Come. Have done. Child, you're shivering. Anthony, please let me in! Please let me in! Louisa. Please. I've done quite enough talking for one day. It's too late. But you mustn't go. You can't leave me. Oh, why can't I? Louisa, there's no point in my staying here any longer. I know I've upset a lot of people, but that's just the way things are. I don't belong with a family. I've been treated as a child. You all forget that I was a soldier used to standing on my own. Look. Look, it's not my intention to hurt you. Take me with you. It's out of the question. Allegra's going to London. Is she? Don't say you didn't know. 
No. Louisa, I have to start leading my own life again. I can't go on paying for something that I don't consider important. I have to start thinking of myself and what I want to do. I don't believe you. Louisa, can't you understand? What connection the Hallams could possibly have had with the Prince of Wales? That's Bertie, Edward VII. That's just what you're trying to find out. Here it is. Mm -hmm. You will just begin here. Uh -huh. Hallam's resignation from the army. That seems to coincide with the inspection of the regiment by the Prince of Wales in Delhi on January the 12th, 1876, isn't it? Because on January the 20th, the regiment seems to have marched to Lucknow, but without Captain Hallam, because he came back. Yes, he came back to England later on board HMS Euphrates. A member of the royal entourage, one of the ladies in attendance, left the tour shortly after. Huh? Well, well, well. No wonder all this was hidden away somewhere. It appears that Captain Hallam was indiscreet. With one of the prince's girlfriends? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it seems he was forced to resign his commission after ten years' active service. Mm, too active. And then the whole Hallam family was ostracised from London and its society. Moved to Thornaby Hall, Rutland. They weren't even born here. Well, does that make a difference? Well, of course it does. It was getting interesting, too. That's rather a pity. Mm. It appears they didn't remain in Rutland for very long, either. I wonder why. Fran! Rog! That's Sean. What is it? It's Ali. What? I think Ali's been seeing a ghost. Oh, Sean, for goodness sake! She's upset, I'm... I didn't know what to do. Oh, darling, you did the right thing. I think we must go, Rog. Yes. Come on. Yes, 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 coming. I've got to go back. Louisa doesn't understand what's happening. sit here. You'll get a chill. Come upstairs now. Miss Craddock, would you take me to London? Did you say London, child? Whatever for? I need some dresses. I've nothing fit to wear. I'm beginning to look like one of those country yokels. Really, Louisa, I don't think now is the time. But there are no decent dressmakers here in the country. They're all in London. Well, you've often said so yourself. I think it might be rather difficult at present. I don't think your parents would approve. And besides, child, you're not well. I'm fine. Oh, please. I'm sorry, Louisa. It's out of the question. No.
heavens. I shall want my luggage sent on ahead of me to London yes, and uh, see that this note is delivered to Mr. Allegra well. Turner. Very well, sir. There's no sense in you keep telling me that there's nothing the matter. If you won't tell me, how can I help you? I'm not going to discuss it in front of the others. That's why Roger's taken Sean out for a bit anyway. I don't want any ideas being put into his head. You know what he's like. That's all right. He's watching his program in the car. It only lasts half an hour. Battery will be okay. Yes, what indeed? Rog, let Ali speak. Okay. I was looking for ghosts at the hall. Oh, Ali. No, darling, just tell us what you saw. Well, I've heard the name Louisa. Louisa? And laughter and noises and a gunshot and all sorts of things around the hall and grounds. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. They're perfectly natural noises to hear out in the country. There wasn't anybody about. Then you must have been imagining them. Ellie's not given to fantasizing. Well, all she's heard is a few simple noises. And sensed things. Things keep happening. And I don't know why. Ali, darling, I don't understand you. You're not being reasonable. Reason be hanged. Well, what are the facts? Ali is being terrified. That's a fact. No, that's a feeling. Then there must be some facts somewhere. There must be a reason for all this. Of course there must be. Well, if not in the present, then in the past. I've never heard such absolute sentimental nonsense in my life. Just because you don't wish to acknowledge something doesn't mean it isn't so. Oh, and you think your children know better, It wouldn't you? be the first time. Oh, stop it, please. Oh, Lord, this... This whole business is going crazy. If you two are going to go on carrying on like this, I think we'd better pack up and head for home. Oh, now we're tired of our little project, are we? But then we'll never know. Ali, there is nothing to know. Oh. Except that an overactive imagination does sometimes play funny tricks, especially when you're in new surroundings. Now, I think we've all had upsets enough, and there's no point in staying here. So we're going to pack up and head for home. Dad, you remember the first night? You told me that your project was important to you. 
Well, can't you understand? This is important to me. We can't go home. Not yet. I haven't seen any messages for me. Let me know if any arrive. I just wanted to say it. You better let the others sleep. I'll take these things out to the car. Okay. But Anthony's leaving. No, he isn't. Not yet. You've plenty of time. Let's come back in and get dressed. But I must speak to him. And so you shall. After you dress. You got my message. Come and sit down. My four line's still packing. I must be alone. Yeah, I know. If you couldn't disappear without us speaking again. And what's the matter? My mama says I'm not to see you anymore. You've enjoyed our meetings together, haven't you? Yes, I have. Well, then why must they finish? I'll be going up to London today. So am I. Didn't you know? We can meet there. No, that wouldn't be possible. Oh, this is all so absurd. I think I have an idea. Where's Anthony? I think he was walking outside. Uh, Louisa? Louisa, is that you? We can meet before you leave. There's still plenty of time. No one else need know anything about it. And what do you say? It will save a lot of bother. All right. But where? There's a clearing. It's not far from our house, by the old quarry. One of the gardeners will tell you the way if you can't find it. I'll meet you there in an hour. And if there's time, I might even be able to take you for a walk. That would be lovely. Father. I should have thought the 
find my daughter here. I heard a young girl's voice. I'm sorry, sir. This is Allegra Turner. Allegra, my father. How do you do? Miss Turner, if you're looking for my daughter, I believe she's still in her room. I'd like a word with you, if you please. I really have nothing to say, You must sir. let me be the judge of that. I understand you're leaving. I'd be glad of a few words. Of course, sir. Miss Craddock, no doubt, will look after the child in our absence. I must be going. Must you? Wouldn't you like me to see you home? No. Thank you. I'll see you later at the quarry. Goodbye. Have you kindly step in here, sir? So there was a Louisa. Captain Hallam's youngest sister. Where's Ellie? Uh, oh, she's outside in the car. I can't see her. Come and have a look at this. Oh, Rog. Good morning. Rise and shine. Orange or break. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Shut up, will you, and get oh, dressed quickly. Come on, Sean. Hurry up. No. You must 